in a particular language if a is equivalent to 0 b is equivalent to 1 c is equivalent to 2 and it continues 1 by 1 1 1 1 it goes up to z being equal to 25 then we have a question of what is the value of 1 plus 1 in the form of alphabets only we need to add these values that is what is expected of us now from here we can easily say that e would be equal to 4 because d is equal to 3 e would be equal to 4 so 4 plus 4 if you write this as 4 plus 4 you get this value as 8 so in place of 8 i can also write the alphabet as i because 8 would be equivalent to i so here would be i the last value or the last alphabet of this solution must be i and we don't have i in option d so i'll cut it out or i'll take it out because that cannot be my answer now second case n plus n n plus n is simply 13 plus 13 in this case n is 13 now we get this as 26 do we have the representation for 26 no we have it till 25 starting from 0 so this basically is a question from base being 26 and we are habituated with questions of base being 10 that is the decimal number system so for these type of question we are always supposed to do the conversion of base 26 into the base 10 so what we can have here the process is simple you divide the value with the base that is 26 and you focus on quotient and remainder in each case and you continue this till you have the quotient as 0 so quotient here would be 1 and the remainder is 0 now you continue with 1 1 divided by 26 the quotient becomes 0 so we stop here and the remainder is 1 now what is our equivalent conversion 26 to the base 10 is equivalent to 10 to the base 26 1 0 is what we have okay so we can write this as not 26 n plus n is 1 0 so we write here 0 and we put 1 as carried 1 has to be carried forward what is equivalent to 0 we cannot write the numbers we have to write in form of alphabets only so we'll write here a now 1 is being carried forward so the last solution would be z o this is o o means m n o p so it is 14 plus 14 plus 1 that is carried forward so it is 29 again we need to convert 29 29 divided by 26 the quotient is 1 the remainder is 0 the remainder is not 0 remainder is 3 not divisible now again 1 divided by 26 the quotient is 0 and the remainder is 1. We stop as soon as we get the quotient being 0. We have the quotient as 0. So now the solution becomes 1, 3. So if you add this, this is not 29. In terms of these value, this is basically 13. So 13, 3 is basically D and 1 is basically B. We'll have to put here B D A I that is right there in option A and that is how you can mark these questions. I hope this helps.